Everyone's in the field. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anybody out there? Robot, stop. What the? I'm reporting a robot malfunction. No response to voice commands. Cause unknown. Didn't you hear me earlier? Doctor! Is everything all right? Doctor, please wake up. I report that I've located Dr. Crowter. He's in bad shape. I'm gonna examine him now. Astrogator. Finally! I've been listening to you for two hours. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter is still working, so I heard your reports. Glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. <laughs> Testing. One, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear, but to the point. As I understand it, there's only Dr. Crowther in the camp, and he's not well. What happened to him? I... I was just about to examine him. Dr. Crowther, please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. Temperature normal. Pulse 2. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, Doctor? Both mental illness and serious bodily injury could contribute to this condition. However, he wasn't suffering from any disorders. And there's nothing wrong with him physically. Epileptic seizure and chronic diseases can also be ruled out. So what? He's just... Fine? On the contrary, something's very wrong with him. And I can't tell what, which is even more worse. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lambda. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Crowther. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? If it were that easy, I would have sent the hop along ago. Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find. And you still need to designate a place for the landing. There's 
not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowter kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector, to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. Mine died, but Crowter had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. AZ-2316. Noting. 3.16. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Oh, got it. Please make sure it works. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. Unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish a connection. Can I help somehow? Let's look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. A secure closer. I have everything I need. Just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Ah. Uh. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. <sighs> what about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. I've got bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart the Androbot. Relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. That's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. Did you find anything, Doctor? Nice specimen. Oh, it's still alive. Ah, the fish Dr. Gorski caught. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Something. Extra relay. Excellent. The signal should be back as soon as it's turned on. Very good. I'm connected. Unlike anything I've ever seen. As if. I don't know. As if an electron bomb had worked it all out. Is it gonna work? We'll see. I rebooted the systems. That should help. Good, good. Receiving instructions. Ugh. I don't know if the Androbot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes. Unfortunately. Should be walking now. 
Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. Well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Oh, please check his legs. Could be the server motor. Ah, that's it. Got you, you tin bastard. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go get the rest while I finish here. That's an order. Yes, sir. Finally, it works. Crowter, five meters. Careful. I found the area marked by Dr. Crowter. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes, it's relatively clean. It looks like the rocks at the landing area. The, the ones drawn by Crowter. The doctor marked a waypoint. I don't recall. It's, it's just a sketch. No markings. Well, if so, we should do it. What would you call them? Poles? <sighs> Doesn't fit. <sighs> These rocks are white as bones. Bones, then. I'm writing that down. Me too. One more thing, Astrogator. The bones are, well, literally almost white, unlike the environment around them. Yes, thank you. That's valuable information. Be useful in navigating. Damn! I seem to have gone too far. I can see the field markings that Dr. Gorski left behind, and I haven't found anyone yet. They all may have left the area, but before you move on, make sure to check the whole perimeter. As long as I'm here, let's see if I can spot someone in the distance. Mm, right. Anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. I'm going back. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. 
By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up, or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? That I don't know, unfortunately. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. Unfortunately alone. Working equipment gave me hope, but someone just abandoned it, didn't even turn it off. And that is indeed unfortunate. We need to expand our search radius. Following the signal. Huh. It, there's something on the ground. Journal. Geological cross section measurements. Here's a Merritt's notes. Oh, she must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. Signals coming from a cast of backpack. That's concerning. I'm close, but I can't see her. She's here. I found her. 
What's her condition? Marit! Marit! It's me, Yasna. So moving. <laughs> 